Are you ready to become a pro in flower breeding in Fay Farm? Well, grab that comfy cozy drink and let me show you just how to do it. Hey guys, welcome to Jade Mist Gaming, Jade Mist here, and welcome to another Fay Farm tutorial guide. This time we are going to be looking at how to breed flowers and how to do it efficiently and effectively. Y'all, you know we want to unlock all those precious, beautiful wings that Mother Wisp gives us, right? Look at these gorgeous violet wings. I am so proud of these wings and I want to get you guys these wings. So let's go ahead and give it a nice rundown so as you can see here I have been quite busy with my farming we have tons and tons and tons of flowers here I have bred every single possible flower in the game I can show you right now by going to the almanac into our flowers right here I have every single flower in the game. This has taken me four in-game years <laughs> to get all these flowers, which translates to about three real life days of grinding out and sleeping and skipping the days over and over and over to get all these done. So yeah, it took a lot of it. <laughs> took quite a bit of experimenting, quite a bit of painstaking accidents of accidentally deleting some flowers, redoing it. So yeah, your girl's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a rundown of what exactly you need in order to be able to start breeding flowers. So what you want to do is create a grid, kind of like what I have here, this letter H grid. So you're going to go into your build mode, construction. You're going to go into the first tab here, your farming tab, and you want to grab the flower soil bed. This is the only soil bed that you're going to be able to plant flowers. You will never be able to put flowers on this basic soil bed. This one is only for farming, which will be in a different video. I have a full guide on how to farm, how to get every single crop in the game. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> so for now, we're just going to use the flower soil bed for all of our flowers. So you're going to put one two, three flower beds down. As you can see here, another one. And then in the middle, I am going to be putting a farming soil bed where you put crops. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So go ahead and set up a little H just like this. Now you are gonna get a quest that's gonna have you unlock flower breeding from Rosalind where she's gonna tell you she wants you to breed a pink flower. And that's gonna be quite easy. So all you're gonna do is take the seeds that she sells and you're gonna cross feed them and turn them into a pink flower. It's that simple, right? Where do you get these seeds? Rosalind gives you these seeds. So let's go look at the seeds you get. So back to our flower almanac, you have a total of six possible seeds that you can buy in the game. You're gonna get a red rose seed, white lily seed, yellow tulip, blue hyacinth, green zinnia, and magenta trillium. So these are the only six that are currently available for you to purchase in the game. The first three are available from Rosalind in your main city in the town center. And the last three, you do need to unlock the Fey world and go get it from Asphodel. He will be the vendor where he or she, not sure, <laughs> will give you or sell you these seeds for 45 Florin. I forgot how much Rosalind sells it. I think it maybe I don't remember, <laughs> but Rosalind sells you these three and Asphodel in the Fey world will sell you these three. You do need to complete the dungeon in the Fey world to unlock these three seeds to bring in that vendor Asphodel. Without finishing the dungeons in the Fey world, you will not have access to these seeds. So spoiler alert, yes, finish the dungeons and get these three seeds. So six total variant seeds in the game or six seeds in the game. Of these six seeds, there are 12 color variants. That's it. So there's a total of 72 flowers that you can have in the game. Six flower types, 12 variant colors for each. I love the pinks. Look how gorgeous those pinks. These are all beautiful colors. It is so aesthetically pleasing, y'all. But I digress. <laughs> I digress. So you're going to take the red rose seed and the white lily seed that Rosalind sells you. And you're going to plant these two together to get a pink seed. And you're going to do that right here. Now, these are not the right ones. This is just for show. So pretend this is the red and this is the white. So you're going to plant the seed down right here. And you're going to plant the second one right here on the bottom. You're going to leave a gap right in the middle. You want it completely empty. 
Now, why do I have beans growing here, you might ask? Well, it's easy. I put this in the middle so that I can use my magical watering can and in just completely water an entire four grid here. So let's say I put two more seeds over here. I personally would put two sets of the red and the white just to see which one breeds faster because they all breed at a different time. It's not exact on the science on when it will breed. Sometimes they'll breed the same day or the next day. Sometimes it'll take three days. Sometimes it'll take weeks for them to breed out of flowers. So I recommend doing two or three of the same color variants to try and see which one goes faster. Hence why I have so many of these H grids here. So do as many of them as you can. If you want to go into your second plot over here, you can totally do a second plot over here do the same thing but be warned you cannot take these flowers if I grab this flower and want to take it over here no it will not let me take them over here so you cannot breed something in this plot and bring it to your second plot sadly you will have to rebreed your flowers if you want these flowers to be over here on this land and to decorate with so be aware of that so if you want to breed them out at the same time make an h grid up here on the bottom grid if you're going to do them here make another one over here and breed them all at the same time make double plots so that you can decorate with flowers in both plots i recommend doing that because if you start getting into decorating as i did over here don't mind the bunnies <laughs> i've put a bunch of flowers down here to decorate with just because i think they look aesthetic and i love them around here so if you do want to decorate all of your different plots and i'm telling you now you're gonna have at least you know what i won't spoil it just in case you're not there you're gonna have various plots to decorate so be forewarned breed them in all the different areas so that you can have flowers okay so I go ahead and make a nice little H grid and I'm gonna water them just by highlighting the middle bean here. I like to plant beans because the stalks, once you pick them, they stay there and you can continue picking them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my watering can with the magic and boom, I have watered my entire grid. I would have had two other seeds here and all of them would have been watered. Now you want to water them all the way up until the point where they are fully blooming like this. They will not cross bleed, bleed and <laughs> cross breed when they are still in sapling form like this. You do have to make sure they get full bloomed like this. Do not pick your flowers if you are trying to breed them. So if I come over here and I accidentally pick this one, that's not going to breed out. Or if I pick this one, they're not gonna breed out even though I have a full one here. So be sure you have them all fully grown. So let's grab, you know what, let's grab this one. Let's move this out of the way. Let's move it over here for now. So I have an empty spot over here. So this blue hyacinth is going to breed with this red rose and it's gonna give me something here on the middle. Now flowers will not breed in a diagonal. So if you create, let's say you create a grid like this and you wanna breed, let's say from here and put it over here in this corner, you will not get a seed here in the middle as a tic-tac-toe. It has to be either horizontal like this or, or, um, or, or horizontal or vertical. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the words. <laughs> vertical or horizontally, just like this. You cannot go in a diagonal. So you can make your lines, your H grids side to side like this or up and down. So horizontal or vertical, it's up to you, whatever is aesthetic for you. You can create a grid like this. That's perfectly fine. But just make sure you know that they will only breed up and down and side to side. So always make sure this middle piece right here and right here are empty between your two further points so they breed so if you have one right here with this one right here something will breed out over here if you breed if you have one up here and one down here this one will breed in the middle so it's up to you you can use a four grid system like this a three by three grid like this or you can use the h grid like this i like controlling what i'm breeding specifically because i have this one here and this one here specifically so i don't want to accidentally mix this white rose with this red rose when i'm trying to get the result of these two so i don't like to put one right here as a three by three me personally but again you guys do whatever is more comfortable for you all right 
Now I do like to go in build mode just to get a better aerial view, but just keep in mind if you are in build mode, you may accidentally delete a seed poof, like that while walking around and you might hit that button. If you accidentally delete a seed, there is no getting it back. There is no going into your inventory and replanting it. Deleting a seed will not put the seed back into your inventory. It is fully gone and I will show you my inventory. Nope. Here's my inventory. I do not have that seed that I just grabbed, sadly. So once you get rid of it, it is fully gone. If you do pick the seed, however, oof, that seed stays here. So you could just water that seed and it will grow back over and over and over again, season by season by season. So it's not like the crops where the crops will die out per the season change. Your flowers will stay bloomed and beautiful for every single season change that you possibly have they will never die and you can run through them and they will never die out you know how in animal crossing when you sprint through your flowers all of your flowers are gone yeah no it's not like that here they just have a really pretty animation when you walk through them just like this sorry if i got you dizzy <laughs> but they do have a really pretty animation when you walk through them and i love running through my flowers it's just so satisfying <laughs> figure eights right through my flowers and then sometimes i kind of leave my dump flowers here and as you can see some of them are breeding this one is breeding with this one over here and it's giving me what did it just give me it gave me a yellow tulip so this tulip and this lily gave me a yellow tulip nice let's go <laughs> so i like to kind of just leave these dumb flowers here and just see what i end up getting as experiments so this was my big old experimentation but this was my more methodical one right here now you may be asking what are the color combinations and what exactly do i need to breed with what and i have every single breed possibility here for you well maybe not every single one but all the ones that work so that you can unlock every single one and i've created a graphic for you guys so that you don't have to do all the guesswork i've done it all for you i've put in three full days worth of time and effort into this and i created this amazing graphic that makes it look like it's part of your game menu so if you want the graphic it is in the description below feel free to download them they are from my google drives folder i have them available for everybody so download them and save them or just take a screenshot here i will be putting up right now on the screen so there are three pages each page has two sets of flowers that you can breed so let's take over look at this first one here so the first set of flowers you're gonna see are the ones on the left over here you're gonna have two columns one column says flower and one column says combination the left column that says flower this is the flower you are trying to breed this is the one you're wanting right now so let's say you go to mother wisp and she tells you she wants a red hyacinth but you don't have a red hy uh, hyacinth i forget how to say that well let's go to this guide so how do you make a red hyacinth you're gonna go to the combination bar right here and you're gonna look at the two flowers that you need to create a red hyacinth the left flower on the combination is mandatory no if ands or buts you need to have the left one in the combination in this case it's the blue hyacinth with the blue parent genes as you can see here in my game if you highlight each flower they give you on the right side a little bubble with two petals that have the colors on them these are the parent genes and these parent genes are extremely important when it comes to creating your hybrids you cannot use any random parent gene just because the flower is a certain color if the parent genes don't match what you need it will not give you the result you're looking for so let's go back to the graphic this is why these parent genes are so vital so Again, on the left side, no ifs, ands, or buts, you need that blue hyacinth with the two dominant blue genes. The blue hyacinth is available for you to purchase, so you don't need to breed out the blue one. You can purchase that seed from the vendor, from Asphod Asphodel, Asphodel, yeah. <laughs> so just go ahead and put that one that you bought, and then you're gonna get a red flower with two red parent genes. Now, I put a rose here, just because this is the one that I used 
to breed out my hyacinth. You can use any red flower for the second flower combination, any second flower combination, as long as the parent gene is those two red genes. Again, it's not gonna be immediate sometimes. You may have to wait a couple in-game days for it to go ahead and breed out, but you gotta be patient. Patience is key when it comes to breeding out your flowers. So that's how this grid works. So you have your flower again that you're trying to breed and then the combination. The left flower on the combination is no if ands, or buts. You need that specific flower with that parent gene. The right flower is optional on the flower type, but the parent gene is no if ands, or buts. You need that specific parent gene to be able to crossbreed those flowers. Now, the parent gene, you may ask sometimes the red or the yellow or on the top or on the bottom, the order of the parent gene does not matter. You can have the blue blue and the white inverted like as you see here this hyacinth underneath to make a white hyacinth the white is on the left the blue is on the right it can be inverted that's perfectly fine they don't have to be in that specific order as long as it's one white and one blue you're fine so everything here is nice and visual for you you can find this for every single flower so this one on the left here is purely for hyacinths and so forth and you have all of your other flowers roses tulips zinnias etc etc so again there's six different flowers 12 variants three pages they're all labeled here page one page two page three go ahead and download all these and and save them and use this as your guide on which flowers you need to breed with what. I figured this would be a lot easier being more visual than just giving you a Google Sheets guide with an entire grid system that could have had you sitting there with that meme with all the math coming out of your head. <laughs> so I hope this one is a lot more visually aesthetic for you and understandable and again, download it in the description below. All right, guys, and that is it for your Fae Farm flower breeding guide. I hope I answered all your questions. If you still have questions or if you're confused about something, be sure to leave me a comment below. I I am more than happy to answer all your questions. I love interacting with y'all. So be sure you leave me a comment below. Even if it's not a question, let me know what flowers you bred to get what. Again, there are so many other ways you can get it by experimenting with the parent genes. So I would love to know what other combinations you did. My guide is not the only one, so be sure to let me know. I would love to add it to the list of possibilities. That would be great if we can keep track with them. You can head over to my Discord. I do have a Fay Farm section over on my Discord. I would love to talk to you guys about it. I'll be posting up my guides and these over there to download as well as in the description below. And I'm going to have tons of other guides that I am working on. I did just recently post the one on how to make 50k florin per hour, so don't forget to check out that one if you want to get rich in Fay Farm. I have a immense farming guide coming in where I'm going to show you how to farm every single season and what you can get out of it, how much money you can make out of it, what you can use with all those crops, etc, etc. Guys, I'm telling you, Fay Farm is here to stay on the channel and I got tons more content for you. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on all the future guides coming out. And until the next time. Happy gaming. Bye.